Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addie. So for today's video, our terminal assignments for NAIA's Terminal 1, Terminal 3. We are also going to include the terminal assignments for Clark International Airports and Mactan Cebu International Airports for the month of October 2023. Details coming right up. <music> So new month, this is October, let's update the terminal assignments. In this video, as I have mentioned earlier, we are including Clark International Airport and Mactan Cebu International Airport because not all passengers are arriving and departing at Manila Airport, particularly at Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. So for this update, let's find out what are the airlines that arrives and departs at Terminal 1 and airlines that arrives and departs at Terminal 3. As we all know, the terminal assignments took effect last May, June of this year. There are airlines that used to arrive and depart at a particular terminal, but this time they got reshuffled. Some are now arriving and departing at Terminal 1 that used to be Terminal 3. As mentioned earlier, we will include airlines that arrives and departs at Clark International Airport and airlines that arrives and departs at Mactan Cebu International Airport. Let's start with the Manila Airport. For airlines that arrives and depart at Terminal 1 at Naia are Philippine Airlines. As we all know, Philippine Airlines used to arrive and depart at Terminal 2. Not anymore. They now arrive and depart at Terminal 1. To those who are traveling with Philippine Airlines constantly, Please take note of these changes. Another airline is Japan Airlines, Royal Brunei, China Airlines, Korean Air, Ashana Airlines, Eva Air, Malaysia Airlines, Zip Air, Saudi, Kuwait Airways, Air New Guinea, Oman Air, Air China, China Eastern, and Shemin Air. So please take note of these airlines because you might be one of the passengers of these airlines and please be guided on terminal assignment. You guys are on terminal 1. For terminal 3 airlines that arrive and depart from this international hub are the following. Cathay Pacific, Cebu Pacific, Air Asia, Tiger Air, Jetstar, Emirates, Thai, Singapore Airlines, ANA, Gulf Air, China Southern Airlines, Qantas, United Airlines, Turkish Airlines, Jeju Air, Qatar Airways, Etihad Airways, and Jetstar. I am not sure how Jetstar and this other Jetstar airlines are related, but it seems that their logos are not the same. It might be a sister company but i put it in there just in case you guys are one of these passengers utopian klm or royal dutch airlines and starlux so your terminal assignment is terminal three for the following airlines that we have mentioned please take note that if you guys are landing at terminal one they now have an online custom declaration form that you can register three days prior to departure it's either you want to register online or you can download the form and fill it out. For those travelers who are landing at Terminal 3, they still give the paper-based customs declaration form. The airline staff will distribute this when you guys are about to land at Terminal 3 at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Now for the addition on this update, let's proceed to Clark International Airport on airlines that arrives and depart at this international hub. These are Air Busan, Ashana Airlines, Cebu Pacific, Emirates, Eva Air, Jeju Air, Gen Air, Philippine Airlines, Qatar Airways, Scott, Starlux, Starlux I believe is a new airline company, that just started recently, if you guys want to check it out. They actually have very affordable ticket. But still, it depends on the day you guys are traveling. 
and then Royal Air. So these airlines that I mentioned, if you guys prefer to land and depart at Clark International Airport, these are your guide with international airlines. Now you guys might ask, how can we book a flight if we don't really want to go through Manila, but we want to go through Clark International Airport? That really depends on your booking. You guys can play around. There are lots of options when you guys are booking your ticket. If you don't want to go through the hassle at Manila Airport, you can land at Clark International Airport. The protocol should be the same, but Clark International Airport, as I've heard positive feedbacks from travelers, that going through this airport is smooth and hassle-free. Now let's proceed to airlines that arrives and departs at Mactan Cebu International Airport. For Mactan Cebu International Airport, airlines that arrive and depart at this international hub are the following. T-Way, AirAsia, Philippine Airlines, China Eastern, Scott, Singapore Airlines, Eva Air, China Airlines, Starlux, Qatar Airways, Emirates, Cathay Pacific, Cebu Pacific, Royal Air, Ashana Airlines, Jeju Air, Gen Air, and Korean Air. So if you guys can find a direct flight or maybe one-stop flight, from your country of origin all the way to Cebu, especially if your final destination is in Cebu, you guys can now have the option to land and arrive at Mactan Cebu International Airport. Some of you might be confused on how to book it. For example, you guys are coming from the U.S. and your final destination in Cebu, and you guys don't really want to go through the hassle and the bustle at the Manila International Airport. What you can do, how you book it, is you find a flight from for example LAX to Singapore because Singapore Airlines flies from Singapore to Cebu find a flight if you can find a flight from LAX to Singapore then from Singapore to Cebu so you don't have to go through Manila Airport your immigration process will now be at Mactan Cebu International Airport so I hope that example will give you guys a guide on how to book your flight going to the Philippines if you want it direct or if you want one stop, two stop. You guys can play around the prices, the airlines that you want to fly with going to the Philippines. So either of these airports that I have mentioned, make sure to register with e-travel because even though you're arriving at Manila International Airport or in Cebu or in Clark, you guys will still have to register with e-travel three days prior to departure. E-travel now is a lot easier to register because they have completely removed the COVID-19 protocols in that process. And I also would like to remind everybody that e-travel is 100% free. Don't fall for those scam websites that would ask for payment for the QR code. You guys can get it for free. Make sure to go to etravel.gov.ph. That is the legit website only. Other websites that are offering QR codes for $65, $115, those are scam. Don't fall for it. So again, e-travel is 100% free and also e-travel per passenger. So if you guys are traveling to the Philippines, you guys are a family of five, make sure you guys have five QR codes. Either you can print the QR codes or you can take a screenshot on your phone to show when you arrive in the Philippines. Also, I've heard some passengers were not asked for e-travel anymore because the DICT actually said before when they gave an update, when they scan your passport, they can actually see in the system if you have registered to e-travel or not. Remember, when you register with e-travel, you will have to input your passport details. So don't be shocked or don't be mad that, hey, I've registered, but you did not check. They can actually see that in the system that you have registered. But don't miss to register it because this is still required. This is actually the replacement of the paper-based arrival card that you guys used to fill out when you arrive in the Philippines. 
So this is our latest travel updates to the Philippines. I hope you guys can use this guide on which terminal you guys arriving for a particular airline and which terminal you are departing for a particular airline. This is for October 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page, same handle, The Eaton Squad. And also to our Instagram, The Eaton Squad Official. Again, guys, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.